What's up guys, it's me R. Ryan from CNR Productions here, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make mac and cheese the greatest food ever. I'll see you guys on the flip side. We're back. Alright, I'm gonna pass the camera to my cameraman and teach you the first step. So, the first step of making mac and cheese is you have to boil water in a nice pan like object. Okay, what you do is you put water in it and you put the stove on high and wait till it boils. I will see you guys when the water's boiling. The water seems to be boiling. Now you have to add the macaroni. <laughs> Here we're using Kraft macaroni and cheese. Don't worry viewers, we're trained professionals. Macaroni. Then you have to add the second one in. Bon apple tea. And then what you have to do is you stir it occasionally while it's boiling, boy, 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 boiling for about 10 minutes until it's ready to be consumed by human hands. I will catch you guys on the flip side whenever the macaroni and cheese is ready to eat. Okay, so now the mac and cheese has fully cooked through. And it seems as if the macaroni and cheese has fully cooked through. So for safety purposes, no, you freaking idiot. Uh, for safety purposes, you have to use oven mitts or oven pads. Oh, well, first you have to turn off the, uh, the heat, the flame. Then you take it, oh God. And then you slowly pour this into a strainer and put it in your sink. I can't see anything. I cannot see anything. <laughs> I can't see anything. My glasses are fogging up and I can't see anything. So, people who wear glasses beware. Can you stop? Freaking. What are you freaking gay? My thumb slipped off of the mat. And now, after you've done that, take it. You gotta toss it a little bit just to get all the excess water. Excess, my bad. And once you've done that, uh, forget about that and put this back in. Now what you have to do is you take the unsalted or salted butter, cut, cut off just enough, about that much for two boxes. One box would be about half of this. All of life. Then you gotta do the milk, just a little bit, maybe a little more, bam. And then, take the cheese packets, totally not artificial. And you have to pour them in at the same time, unless, or it won't work. Now, you take the wooden spatula and you stir it. I put too much milk in. So, yeah. 
What? Bon Appetit. It's almost done stirring. You could tell by the amount of powder that's left in there. Just uh, about like 10 or 20 more seconds and then we should be done. I put a little too much milk in, so uh, don't. And uh, your mac and cheese is done, pretty much. But if you want, you can take some hot sauce or something and put it in to, just to make it 10 billion times better. Okay, now your mac and cheese is finished. Bon app the tea, guys. So uh, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, Especially if you finally learn how to make mac and cheese, that'd be pretty good. I hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon. Goodbye! <laughs>